it's cringe rocker here. Um, <clears throat> making a video today because I looked on YouTube ever I could not find a video on how to do this. The one that will work at least. But um, making a video on how to replace weapons in a uh, 5M server. I am doing a DPS server, I believe. I don't know, you have to connect to a, a virtual computer, basically. Not, you know, a local one, so. This is how you do it. So you're going to have a folder named Weapons, or whatever you want to name it. Open it up. You're going to have to put a folder in here named Stream, just like that. Low, all lowercase. And then a Lua file. Titled uh, underscore underscore. That's right, two underscores. And then resource.lua. So, most people will say you don't put anything in here. But every time that I did it, and you had nothing in here, it didn't work. So, what I did was, um, just close that up, is you just put the resource manifest version. So, you put that in there, and then you save it. So, uh, I will put this in the description, so you don't have to copy it on the screen. But if it doesn't work for you, um, I suggest grabbing it from another resource in your server. I don't know if this will work for local hosted, but it might. So put that in there, and then in stream, you're going to put all the weapons you want to replace. As you can see, I have, my, I have carbine rifle, and then some uh, suppressors, and scopes, and nightsticks, combat pistol, all that. So I'm going to be adding um, this, which is a replacement for the golf club, but it's actually a fire axe. So no one ever really uses the golf club that I think of. So we're gonna put that in there. So you drop it, drag and drop it into your stream folder. Any weapon you want to place, put it in there. Obviously, you can refresh it, put it where you want, and then close it out. So you always want to make sure you save your resource file with the manifest version. Um, yeah, just otherwise, if you don't save, it won't work. So you're gonna copy it. Uh, you can either right click, click, click copy, or you can hit Control C. And then you're gonna go over to your server. Uh, go to your resources. Let me make sure it's actually like recording. I hope it is. Um, you're gonna go to your resources, and then you can put it wherever you want. You know, I just put mine right here. So paste it. Uh, I'm gonna replace it. Yes, and it's gonna take a minute. So. You just want to remember, um, when you do this, just be careful where you put it. So, this is going to take a minute. So, I hope y'all are doing well today. Um, the 5M server that I'm working on, I'm not the owner of it, but I'm in charge of the fire department. I'll put the Discord link down in the description. I'll also put the Arma server link down there. Just in case you guys want to join some pretty neat servers. This is almost done. Oh my gosh. Right. So open it up. Make sure you have everything in here like you need to. If it says, if, if you, you know, if you have your underscore underscore resource, that resource that Lua and it's one kilobyte, then it should be, should be good. Let's see if we had the, the gun club. Yep, right here. These two. Not that one, but those two. I'm going to close that up. And then I'm going to go to oh. you're going to want to find your server.cfg in your FX server folder or wherever all your 5M server stuff is. All right, server.cfg is right here. Add it with notepad plus plus. And then you're going to want to add start space and then whatever you named your weapons folder. See, I named it weapon. So it, mine's already in here because I did this like last night or whatever. Um. So then start your server. This is usually what takes the most amount of time. As you can see, I have a lot of assets in here that I need to go through some time and remove because they're not all. Uh, there, 
but you could also do this, I believe, if your server is already up. What you need to do start weapons or whatever you name the folder, but I'm gonna do restart. Whenever you add stuff to your server that CSG, you always remember to save it as well. I'm gonna restart weapons to see if I have any issues. So as you can see, it stopped the resource weapons, loaded them, um, and then it started it. So that's good, no issues. So we're gonna close out of this, and I'm gonna go to the bottom server, and I will see you guys over there. All right, you guys. So. Yep, we're in the file server now. Everything's still loading as you see. The you know, of course, it always takes a minute for five m to load the map, but other than that, it's pretty fast. So, go to menu, v menu, or whatever uh, stuff you use, and get weapons. So let me show you. If we go to find golf club. That works. See, that's the fire axe. That's the golf club. Also, I have a Glock replacing the replacing the pistol, and it all works. Um, I really hope this helps you guys because it um, it took me forever to find this. Um, it, uh, errors I could think of that I had an issue with were um, it would load. I mean, it w it, when I went to go start the resource, it would load it up, but like some weapons. It would say exceeded the memory limit. Simple uh, answer, a simple fix for that is just you can either go through the YTDs. That's usually what that's what I had all the issues with with the YTD files, the texture files for the guns, um, and remove some textures, or you could just go look for another weapon to replace it. Um, I was actually this this is not the weapon I was going to use. This was going to or this M4. I was going to use a Sig 516. Um, it's a really good weapon. I use it in single player all the time, but 5M it didn't work for me. Maybe a different story for you guys. But I hope this tutorial um really finds you guys well. Um have a good time guys. You know. If you have any questions or anything, uh put them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. Uh, if you guys enjoy this like, comment, subscribe, share with people that might think it's helpful. And uh peace out.